Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. We are going to continue working in our current latest project. Um, actually, it's been a few days since I've recorded and I'm not sure exactly where I left off, left off. These are just some floating uh, inserts that I had um, prior to. I don't know if they're going to stay here. I just, it's kind of more of a reminder, hey, you need to make some inserts <laughs> for that area. But I have prepped what I was going to put here and a little bit on this big uh, space there. So I've got that prepped. And then we're going to do some page. Uh, I think we might get one page set up done. But this is the Basically Amazing. We're using the Basically Amazing Foundations in the Pumpkin Background Design. And the Basically Amazing Decorative Edge in the pumpkin background design. And those are printable templates that are available in my Etsy shop. They are not a physical form. You have to download the templates yourself. And then this is the paper collection we are using. Hello Pink Autumn from Prima. So there's a whole video playlist for this album. So, so far we did a prep video and we made the covers, we did the binding, we did the um, front embellishing here. I'm pretty sure the camera, because I remember I f somehow didn't turn the camera on while I was recording or something. Ha I'm not sure what happened, but I don't remember what it didn't get. But this is just two of the fussy, I fussy cut some of those out of the paper collection. And then the Give Thanks, I think, was also in the paper collection on that sheet that had all the different little images on it. Okay, so first what we're going to do, though, is... Uh, what did I tell you? A playlist. I'll link that playlist <laughs> up here and down below. And then there's also a special Amazon list specifically for this project. So I'll link everything in the description box if you just go down there and check it out. So I've already prepped everything because I'm trying to be a little bit more prepared. Okay. <laughs> so what I did so far is I printed off a sheet of these this is a photo mat from my photo mat essentials and this one is the it's a four by six oops passed it right up it's the four by six i printed this one off onto 28 pound paper these are also available in my etsy shop and then i just trimmed all the way up to the edge so that it almost looks like it's been fussy cut as well well i guess it is kind of fussy cut as well but i only print them on to 28 pound paper because that cuts back on the bulk and the heaviness of the cardstock because really the whole point is to put a picture here so that that would be the focus so all you would see after that after you stick your picture there would be the photo corners and the uh, distressed edge a little bit and whatever you're going to end up doing to embellish this that'll be all you see so we're going to be using that here and then these are pieces that I fussy cut from a piece of car, uh, the car, uh, what's it called? From the pattern paper, and it was this one, but I don't think I used this paper yet. So, this must have, because I, you know, I have some samples where I was, when I released my new photo mats and my new stamp set, I had made some samples, and I think that's where this piece came from. So, these two pieces here are fussy cut from that area. So, <laughs> I don't know. I guess I didn't do a very good job of separating my, my papers out this time. So we're going to be using this on the bigger part, I think. And then I've got a fussy cut pumpkin. This was at the bottom of the page. And I'm just going to use it. I'm going to tuck it behind. And then this is from my stamp set. So this is the, um, this is the tag that I stamped onto coffee stained paper. And then put the date on there. And I think I'm just going to leave it. I, I was thinking about punching a hole, but I don't think I will. And then this was from the paper collection. This is from that sheet where it had all those different cut apart pieces that I did, like in the prep video. Let me show you. Where it had things like this in it. Right, so I cut that whole sheet apart, and then this is just one of them. So I'm going to be using this as well. So first thing, though, I need to put... Uh, four by six here. I don't have to, but I am going to. Oops. So this is part of my stamp set. The four by six numbers. I'm just going to ink that up and stamp it. It doesn't have to be in the middle or anything. 
It, well, I mean, it can't, depends. It's all up to you where you want it to be. <laughs> but these, that stamp set is linked down below as well. And if it's not in stock, just um, put your email in and they'll notify you when it gets back in stock. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do here, I think. I think I'm just going to make like this little bit of a cluster. Something like that. What do you think? And and have it to where the photo obviously will still be able to slip behind that. I just think that's cute, a cute little cluster. I like the sweater weather. I just think that's cute. I guess we could come down a little further. Um, do something like that. Like that. And then, like I said, I've already obviously fussy cut these out and I've inked the edges ever so slightly. But then I thought we could this color here is from my new shades of color too and it matches this purple that's in this paper collection perfectly so i thought we could use these fussy cut images um like kind of like this just to give it something you know just to give it a little a little something because you could put a five by seven photo back here you could put an i don't think an eight by ten will fit will an eight by ten fit you could cut an 8x10 down ever so slightly and it'll fit here. So I think that's what I'm going to do. But I'm going to glue those down entirely. So I'm just going to use some art glitter glue. And that way I can make sure I can get all these little bits. Because I don't want them to get stuck. And then put this one down here. You guys are going to have to let me know what you think about the new background design, the pumpkin background design. Um, I think uh, as of today, I think today is the day that the video went public you know, for the, um, what I'm using. So, uh, I haven't gotten really any, I've gotten a little bit of feedback, but not, not a whole lot. Okay. So I'm going to leave that alone. I'm just going to stick those back there and then let's do this. Let's work on this piece. I think, I think I'll just use, actually, I'm not going to use wet glue. I'm going to use tape runner and tape because this paper is so thin. You could use, probably, you could probably use um, wet glue just, just don't use a bunch, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so I'm going to put this one a little catty wonked. Oh, I better stick that under there before I do that, huh? Well, I'll have to use a little bit of wet glue on that. I almost forgot. Okay, so then these are going to go kind of like that, I think. I'm looking in the monitor to see what that looks like. So, I think I'll glue these two together. I'll just glue them down by that leaf right there. Or glue them, attach them together by that leaf. Right, so then I need to be choosy where I put my glue. So I'm gonna put my glue on this butterfly wing. I'm going to put my glue down here and I'm going to put my glue over here. And 
man, I should have printed off a new photo for you guys so I can demonstrate, but I didn't think about it. So here is a four by six photo, so it would slide right down in there. But obviously not this photo because then my, my grandson's face will be covered up. But yeah, so you would do the corner chomping of the photo and then you would just attach it right there. How cute is that, right? Okay, so then that's done. Okay, so then I just wanted to do that really quick because I wanted to um, finish this up just decorate a little bit. We'll come back and maybe make inserts just depending on how much time I end up having. But let's do a page setup now. I'm, I think I've actually, I'm actually did this in the wrong order. There, there's obviously no wrong order, but the way I wanted it to be, I, I prepped the wrong set of pages. So I think we're gonna be starting on, so there's two fins. I think we're gonna be starting on the second fin in the front. <laughs> Because the first fin, I want to do my favorite pull down pocket thingy, my bob. So I've planned everything for the wrong fin. So I've got everything planned for the second fin, not the first. So we'll just start on the second fin. How about that? Okay. So I've got the main setup of this page. We're just going to do the front side of that fin. So I've got I've got it all printed out and cut out. So I'll just show you everything. So in the basically amazing foundations. I have printed two of page 7A. That is the main base page for the A size album because that's what we're making an A size album. You could, you obviously can use whatever size you want in the pages because it's the biggest album, so you can use all of them. So I printed two of them and I printed the ones with the background. Oh, don't pay attention to my my posty. I printed the background design, the pumpkin background design on both of them, but you'll notice that when I cut them out, one of them I left the right side tab on there and the other one I left the left side tab on there. So you cut the top and bottom tabs off of both and then um, one long tab off of each one. So I've done that and I scored them both and I inked the back side. Of both so you need two of those this is 80 pound white cardstock and then I printed from page 14 AD I printed it's actually page 14 D because it's directional the reason it's I had this question just recently so if you're new or new with this set of templates the reason there's two letters 14 AD is because if you use this page this way that'll fit onto the A size main base page perfectly if you use this page this way that fits on the D size main base page perfectly so that's why there's two different letters but in like for example if you if you purchase the pumpkin background design you will have page 14a and you will have a 14d so we're using 14d from the pumpkin background design in the foundations so you'll see what i'm showing you here too though is this is how i cut it out i left the two middle tabs in between these they're going to be flips i left those attached and cut out all the outside tabs so then when i cut it out uh, when I cut them apart, I've got one that's going to flip this way and one that's going to flip this way. So I've scored it and inked both sides as well. And then one more thing. I haven't, um, I, don't, I don't have any mats or anything ready, but I do have the main base set up. You know what I mean? So out of the Basically Amazing Graceful, I used the page 2060. I printed it onto white cardstock. And just the plain one and I just separated this away from this belly band because we're going to be using this belly band so um, I did the trimming out of it and then I scored the tabs and inked the outer edges and all of that so we're not going to be using this right now I'm going to put that aside okay and that is all we're going to use right this second so let me get let me Line this up proper. Pretty sure it goes like this. Okay, so this is going to go, this belly band is going to go on top of this page here, the main base page with the tab on the left side. So I'm going to remove my little posty note. 
And I haven't taped anything, so that stinks. That's okay. I'm gonna grab, this is, this is three eighths inch tape that I get from a cherry on top. I will have the tape resources linked down below. So it's up to you whether or not you want to measure and get the exact center. I'm not going to. Um, I always I try and it just it still isn't right. So <laughs> I just I'm just gonna leave it be. Okay. I actually had considered maybe doing a removable element that's like a shaker, but I don't know if I'm gonna still do that. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna take the tape backing off. And I'm just gonna guess and I'm never really good at it, so that's okay. This is, you know, it's a handmade, handcrafted, beautiful piece of art, and it's it's not center. <laughs> it's not even close. I wonder if I can get it off without tearing anything, because I haven't really pressed down. You know what? Let's just leave it. Let's leave it be. It's off center, and we're just going to go with it. Okay, so that's uh, that's what we're going to do on this page. And then these two pages, so this was the other page with the pumpkin. We're going to have those like this. And we're going to put these, a 14D, we're going to put them here as flaps. But I'm first I'm going to angle the corners. I think I'll just use my photo... This is a We Are Memory Keepers corner chomper. I haven't, I don't think I've used the angle. This one has an angle and it also has, oh, let me tape it first. And it also has the photo corner. So that's not, that tape just isn't big enough. Let me get a different size. I've got a half inch. I don't know why my tabs are so big. But they are. And you know what else I want to do? Shooty doodle. I should have thought of this first. So I'm going to go ahead and tape both of these. Before I attach these down, I need to... Well, no, I'm just going to have to do it afterwards. All right, I did the tape first because I want to uh, cut through the tab and everything. It doesn't matter. Obviously, it doesn't matter. We might even cut the tab off right there. So, so I'm just doing the top. The other side, if you want to see what it looks like, if you're not familiar with this, it's got that photo corner so that you could then... Let's use this as an example. You could then put your photo right in there and it looks like a real photo corner is holding your photo down. So amazing, amazing thing to have in your arsenal of, of goodness. No, it's an amazing thing to have in your projects. Now, now I need to decide, it, oh, I need to ink. I'm gonna ink. I'll probably end up cutting that tab off. Let's just do that. Let's just do it. I'm not going to be able to take it. So I'm going to cut it off the other direction. Let's do this corner down here. All right. Now I need to ink. Just where I just did the cutting. So 
do I want to make them even? Because they're going to be like a mirrored. <sighs> so should I just, what should I do? What if, what if I just came up, use my ruler and I just come up. How would that look? About an inch from the bottom. So I'm just going to mark a line. If this page is going to get matted anyway, so it's not going to matter. Same here. Just going to mark a line. So then I can just line that up like that. And that will go there and we'll add some magnets in a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to remove the tape backing. Just like that. Burnish it down. Same over here. Remove the tape backing. I'm going to add to the one on the left, I'm going to add tape on this side here. Why do I keep putting my tools up? Oh, that's too big now. Shoot. Well, it might work. No, this other one's not so big. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this tab to this tab, or however you want to look at it. So they will be one together, like one unit, one page set up. So we're just attaching tab to tab here. Hopefully I got that on there straight. Yeah, not too bad. Okay, and now I'm going to add tape to this tab. Yeah, now that they're together I can use this full tape, this half inch. Because this, this tape from Cherry on Top, it's slightly smaller than a half inch, so it's, it actually works out pretty good when you need, you know, when you're working with a half inch space. Okay. So, I think maybe, before we put it in the book, I think maybe we should might add some magnets. Because I need to put a magnet here and here. And then maybe magnet saver, maybe? All right, I grabbed out my little crafty tray of magnets. I'll have all my magnet resources linked down below. And I will also have, um, I'll have them in the Amazon list as well. And a magnet saver are these little flat discs. Whenever when I say magnet saver, it's either a little flat metal disc or it's a, one of those tin caps that are used for roofing that are not tin. So, I think what I'll do though, I think I'm just going to put, uh, I'm just going to use a glue dot. These are those really big, big glue dots and I think I'll just put it one here and one there. Uh-oh, I need to get some more magnets. Those are stuck together. 
Y'all want to see my other magnets? Well, I actually have three magnet spaces. <laughs> Here's my other magnet drawer. And it's full of all kinds of sizes. And then I have even one more. I have another one in my other room that um, I've stored even extra. Because there was a time there where I was, I, um, I was checking out all these different resources. So, yeah. All right, so I'm going to stick one down here. Like that. The only thing is, I need to make sure. Oh, they are going to touch. So I need to make sure that that's how they get put on there. And I even eyeballed it. I even eyeballed it. And then I'm going to put a piece of quarter of an inch tape over top of that. Burnish that. So then on the inside, I'm going to do a magnet saver. So what I'm going to do is I'll put, put one like that and then we'll do another glue dot. And we just push them. Yeah, because see, these will be matted as well. Mm. That glue dot got out of control. All right, I think I'll do another bit of tape. On those as well. Just to keep them in the right spot. missed that one okay so then see they'll hold each other together as well so the page the page won't flop around all right so now I'm gonna add it into the book and I'm gonna add it into the second fin but on the front of it so I'm gonna remove this tape backing and I'm just gonna use some liquid glue, but I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wing it. You don't want the score part. You don't want where it bends to go beyond the top. You don't want it to go closer to the spine. You want it to be on the other side of the tip of that little fin there. So that, this is one of the easiest ways I've found to install pages onto a fin style binding. It's just as simple as that. Okay. So now I need to think about how I'm going to mat these things. I will be right back. All right. I actually don't know where I left off recording because it's actually the next day and I actually just finished recording an element that we're getting ready to use here in just a second. But I do have some things prepped and ready. So we, we've already done, we did the whole page install. We did, pretty sure, yeah, we did this and added the little uh, elements there. Okay, so what I did here, where did I just mess up? There it is. Is I took and I traced that mat, which is on page 73D. I used this paper here. I wanted, I wanted the dark side, so I traced 73D onto this paper, and I cut it out, and it's ready to go. So, we are going to add that. Oops, what just fell out? What is that? Oh. <laughs> so, we are going to be adding that into, or onto, the belly band right here. I actually didn't cut it out very well, but that's okay. 
So, actually, let's just go ahead and glue it. I'm going to go ahead and glue it down. I am going to use some art glitter glue because it's sitting right here, and this is thick cardstock, and it won't show through. You could use tape runner tape. You could use um, you could use Fabri-Tac. You see, I didn't really cut it out very good. That's okay. <laughs> you can use whatever adhesive you want. Okay. And then I picked out some elements. I fussy cut some of these. This one is from the die cuts. And I just fussy cut more of that white edge off. And then these two are from the paper collection. I think I took a picture of what I want to do. Because I did this yesterday. What I decided I was going to do. I might not have. Oh, I didn't. Shooty doodle. Okay. That's okay. So I was thinking I was wanting to do like a little cluster of pumpkins. And then I'm going to take some of this paper. Let's see, which one do I like the best? Some of this coffee stained paper from the cover. I'm trying to find one that's got a little bit of interest. There we go, this one's got something. And I want to stamp, from my stamp set, I'm going to take the one that has the photo corners and I'm going to stamp it on here. And we're going to use this as one of the embellishments as well. So, okay, so I'm going to stamp this down. I might even do a couple because that way I'll have extra just in case. Oh, and I didn't stamp it very well, but that's okay. Uh, is it that corner? No, that corner will be seen. So. <laughs> One of the corners may not be seen as much. So, let's just stamp that down. And then I want to do a sentiment from the same stamp set. I know I showed you all the stamp set at the beginning, but I'm just going to show it to you again. Well, that one's better. That one's stamped a lot better. So let's see. Then I think, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I might need, I might go ahead and stamp the smaller one. Because I might be using the smaller one on the insert that's going to go in here. So I'll just stamp that down here. Okay, so what sentiment do I want to use? I was thinking about using these special moments again. Isn't that what I used in the front? I did. I was thinking about using the special moments again because it's going to be in the second fin, so it's not going to be right there. I could do our story, but I think I'm going to do the special moments. And I also think I'm going to use black ink. So, move that aside and get a block. And the black ink, where do I have? Okay, hang on. I've got it in another one of my, I should, <laughs> this is my double square ink station that we made when we made all of our essential ink stations. And I sh if I'm going to use black a lot, I should switch these out and you can put the black and the walnut stain on the same. But for now, I'm just I'm going to take this and I'm going to stamp this right here. Just like that. It's good enough. I got a little wonky, but that's okay. I told you guys, I'm not a stamper. I'm just not a stamper. Okay, so then I'm going to cut this out. I 
can't decide if I want to cut that fussy cut it out a little bit better I think I'll just leave it like that so then the idea I was thinking about doing this or something like that does that look good I think that looks good so let me fussy cut these out just a little bit so I think this is what I'm going to do I'm going to ink this really fast though just the edge I just really like the look of it. Something like that. Okay. So, let me start by adding that pumpkin there. I shouldn't be using art glitter glue, but that's okay. And then the spicy cut butterfly. Right? That's so cute! I like it a lot. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Okay, so now for the insert. Let me grab that stuff. I can't tell if you're straight or not. Okay, so out of the Photomats Essentials, I printed this, the first five by seven image that has the black mat and the photo corners. I printed that directly onto the pattern paper. And let me show you real quick. Oh, oh. Something is blocking my, there we go. I'm over here fighting my, my shelves. Um, it'd be easier to see it this way, probably. So here is the 12 by 12. Right? There's the 12 by 12. So I cut it down to... Uh, I cut it up to 8.5. So I cut this piece off at 8.5. And, and then I cut this piece off, which is just one inch, so it made it 11, so it went through my printer, okay? But I cut it down, that's the way I cut it down. So on the, I ran it through my printer, and I printed on the back side, but I will tell you one thing my printer did, it sucked my paper in too fast, and it didn't get the whole print of the black mat. So what I'm gonna do is try to compensate for that, and, I'm going to take my paper trimmer and I'm going to trim it off top and bottom because we're going to make a, a booklet. Oops, there's that. Like that. We're going to cut the top and bottom off. Then I'm going to score right down the middle between the two. best I can and I'm gonna fold I'm gonna fold them over so I have a choice of either cutting on this side the black line or this side the black line and I think I'll do this side because um, that way I don't have to ink extra let me burnish that really quick then I'm going to get my paper trimmer back out, and I'm going to cut right on the outside of that black line. Like that. So now it should be even on both sides, and the booklet itself is even. Okay. So it's actually going to go this way. Let's so burnish that down, and I'm going to take a second to ink the edges up. And then what's going to go on top of here 
is our super cool shaker element that we make, that we are actually going to make in the next video. So I recorded this separate because it did take a minute, but isn't that just the cutest? Let me put something behind it. Isn't that just the cutest thing, right? Okay. So anyway, this will be the next video. So easy. So that's going to go on the front like this. But before we glue that down, I think I'm going to stamp. I could just leave it be, but I think I'm going to do five by seven. Yeah, I think I'm just going to stamp a five by seven and I am going to use black so that you can see. Oops. Let's just put it up here, I think. Do it the same line. Boop. There. And so I think I'll just leave that the way it is. That's my five by seven photo stamp. And then this is gonna go on here like this. And of course my battery's flashing. Okay, I am going to glue this down. I'm only gonna glue two sides down so that a photo can slip in here. So I'm just gonna go right along the bottom edge. And right along the top. Now again, this is the next video. How to make the shaker, so. And I think I'm going to go up a little, a little bit, no, maybe not. And then a photo will slip in right behind there like that. And when the glue's not wet anymore, I would shove that in. But look at how cute, right? Yeah, okay. So I love that, I love that. And that is gonna go right here. Now you will have to lift up the belly band in order for it to go under there. But yeah, that's where that's gonna go. I might end up like switching that out with something because that is just too cute. This is just too cute for words, isn't it? I have another one. From my prototype, or my, I'm sorry, from my samples, where I did this, I have this one where it's just got like a raised photo mat on the front. I could also just, I could substitute it for that one as well. And that one's the same thing. I just printed it directly onto the pattern paper, and then I lifted that up on the foam tape and just did like a, like a cute little, uh, I just fussy cut around that image. So that could also, that would also look really cute under there as well. I kind of want this to be a little bit more visible now, now that it got it under there. Hmm, I'll think about it. Let me change my battery. Okay, you guys. I actually don't know <laughs> what I'm gonna do. I'll let you guys vote. Should the shaker photo booklet be under this cute little belly band? Or should the, um, the sample that I made when I was introducing my new stamp set and my essentials photo mats. Should that one go under there? You vote. You tell me which one. They both look good. So, you know, I can always put this one somewhere else. We will. You could also put a photo mat on the back. Um, you'll see in the next video, I accidentally trimmed this off wrong. So this one, the photo mat, you can put that back there. That's kind of cute, and the photo would go in there. Then you kind of mimic the front. Might not be a bad idea, but it's cute. I don't know. Anyway, so when you see that video, the next video, when I did this, know that I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> know that I'm gonna do it different. Okay, so I think I'll just leave it at that. As a matter of fact, I think I'll just, that'll be all we're gonna do for this video today. And then the next video will be the shaker, and then the next video, we'll come back and do this part here. 
I'm pretty sure that's that's what we're gonna do. Okay, you guys, that is all I am going to do today. And the next video will be this really fun, pretty shaker. Let me get my granddaughter back in there so you can kind of get the gist of what's happening. Is that not that cute, guys? <laughs> um, this video will be the next, and then after that, we'll, we'll continue matting. Like, we'll go on the inside here and do this part. But anyway, so do, do let me know which one you think should go under the belly band. I think we could maybe find a better spot for this. We'll see. We'll see. But for now, this is what I've made to go under this belly band. So yeah, let me know what you think. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and you turn that bell notification on so that you're notified when I upload a video. And be sure to check out my description box below the video with all the important information and links and things like that. And thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you next time.